equipment manager is designed to close the gap between the front office and the warehouse. Uh, that's the main goal of this software. It allows you to see uh, through, we have true visibility as far as who's working in the warehouse on a given uh, order uh, at any time if you want to check it. Uh, you have a way of uh, placing the order in a queue and, uh, and the system will uh, print the pick ticket on, on, on demand on the warehouse when the puller is ready to fulfill the next order from the queue. Um, that, that order fulfillment manager is, uh, is basically programmed on, on, the, on the sales order. We have a button call, uh, that is showing the queue of the order and we also have a checkbox added to the queue. So this, in, in this case, if you would be using this program, you really, the, your office uh, uh, customer service uh, and the office personnel, they don't really need to print the pick ticket. A lot of our customers uh, are telling us, okay, we're printing the pick ticket directly to the warehouse printer. Yes, great. And now I've been asking the question, isn't that sometimes the uh, pay, pay, paper jam or some sort of a printer issue, you have no visibility. Did it print in there or not? And you have no visibility. Who has the order at any given time? So sometimes you have to page the warehouse to find out who's working on that order. Maybe the the person who's working on the order is at lunch and it's going to be hard to find out who's working on that order and the customer needs uh, one more item to be added to their order. So this will give you the full visibility who's working on that order at any given time. So now that if I go back into my queue screen from the order, I could see that I have I have two warehouses in my order and I push this order into the queue on this date. So this tells me that the order is still sitting in the queue. Nobody has worked on that order yet since it doesn't show uh, the assigned user and the assigned user action uh, time uh, in, in this, uh, in this uh, two fields are, are kind of empty. That tells me that it hasn't been assigned to anybody yet. Anybody yet. So from the, when after you, you enter the order, when that order is ready to be fulfilled, the only thing that uh, you need to do is uh, click add, add to the queue checkbox. So we have this new checkbox on the bottom, on the bottom of the screen. Uh, once we click on that, that automatically goes to the queue. So on the, in the warehouse, uh, we're going to have uh, this program running all the time. This will show them the list of the orders that are in the queue that needs to be fulfilled. If you have multiple companies, you can combine the queues together. There are some there are some companies that they're running multiple companies under. Uh, Sage 100 ERP, and uh, they share the warehouse, and uh, the same coolers are working uh, into those orders. So you have an option of combining the companies together as a company code. That option is set up. That option is available here. Combine queue. As soon as I click on this option and accept this, it's going to basically not let me to uh, change the company if I want to change the company. Uh, to full the or to fulfill the order. Uh, some of the options here we have a maximum number of orders. So this is really interesting option. Uh, uh, the, when when the warehouse uh, when the puller goes and gets the order from the queue, you want them to uh, you you don't want them to go and uh, get all the orders from the queue and then the next person goes and tries to get the order there's nothing left in the queue so you want to have some sort of a limit so that when they already got in this option we're saying the maximum number of orders 10 so if they try to print the 11 11th order from the queue the system is going to stop that and it's going to say okay you have already 10 orders please go fulfill those orders first before you go back and get the new order from the queue. So this way you're trying to make sure your packing lines are not waiting for the poolers uh, and they're actually uh, processing the order as they come into the queue and they don't have those orders with them all the time uh, if they're not going to fulfill right away. So same type of uh, feature is available for the lines as well. Maybe you have uh, one big order that has uh, more than 10 lines and you don't want them to go 
start working on the next order. So you just want them to get that order and work on that, then go to the next one. Um, here we have a, we have a way of how do we would like to uh, take out the orders from the queue. In other words, how do you would like to sort and print from the queue? So either by sh you could the first sorting will be by ship via, for example. On the ship via, we have a code that says the priority. Like if it's a FedEx ground or FedEx next day, you want the FedEx next day to print uh, first before the FedEx ground then that will be something that you can do it. Uh, and at the same time, after you select that, then it's going to do by the queue create and the create date and time. So now that being said is uh, if you select this way, then the orders are going to go in and out uh, per your uh, setup. And this setup is something that the warehouse employees will not have access to it. It's a security there's a security event for that purpose. So you, as the manager, go will set up these options and leave it in there. And the warehouse employees, the poolers, uh, just have to come to this program and click the next order from the queue. Give me the next order from the queue. Uh, we have an option of grouping the orders uh, by the sales order. If you have a company that uh, uh, you have multiple warehouses, but you would like to create one pick ticket for all the warehouses, then you can combine them together. Uh, you can activate and uh, you can enable and disable the warehouses in a given location if you want to. Um, you, that because if you have multiple locations, you may have this screen running on. If you have an office, if you have a warehouse in in uh, California and Florida, you may want to have uh, two different screens that you could actually put this up in there and uh, quickly reroute the order to Florida office or the California office warehouse uh, fulfillment center. So it's pretty flexible as far as uh, what company, what warehouse you would like to see when you're, you're, pull, you're pulling the orders. So the puller's job really is to come back, to come to this screen and uh, tell the system print next from the queue. And as they click on that, the system is going to ask them to provide the, their user ID. So these user IDs are from the system, and uh, I can select any user ID. If I'm if I'm the uh, if I'm AG user, I'll select the AG and click OK. And then it's going to go through the printing process, obviously. And I'm going to be printing and saving my pick sheet. And it's going to come back and ask for uh, the confirmation to see if the order has been successfully printed. Do you want to assign the sales order 185 to AG user? I can say yes. I can say no or print next one. So print next one means that you're accepting and going into the next one. So you are getting the next order from the queue. So in this case, I'm going to say yes, and we'll go back to the 185 is disappeared from my queue automatically because it has been assigned to that new puller that we just uh, run. And going back into the sales order screen, and uh, let's bring up the order 185. And uh, if I go to 185. Okay. going to go back into the sales order and just screen. I don't know what happened there. Hmm. Maybe that, that was from another company. Yeah, that was from another company. 185 was from another company. Yeah, these are all from the ABC company. I just have to switch to ABC. Print 
Okay, so this is 185, still loaded 185. Now going back into the queue button, I'm in the front office and the customer calls me and is trying to find out the status of the order. Uh, then you can go in here and you can say, okay, your pick ticket has been assigned to this user on this date in the warehouse. They're working on it right now. Your order should be out of the door in the next couple of hours. So it gives you the full visibility from the front office to the back office who's working on it and on and on.